Welcome back to Hoguru Noir. That's right, I'm the hidden object guru, and I play video games in black and white. You may ask, why would you do that? I don't actually have a good reason. I mean, I enjoy it. Uh, wireless controller. Do not have one. Oh, you're just... Okay, I got it. Uh, raise holster weapon. Unless you click it. Show task. Fire weapon instinct mode. Ooh, instinct mode. Much like every other game. Uh, reload. You know what? I'm sure it'll teach me the stuff when I play it. Options. Language options. Um, can I not... In can I not invert the, uh, the free look? Maybe there is no ending in... Oh, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, English. English? Ooh. What just happened to me? Uh, is there subtitles? be weird if there weren't subtitles, right? Look, press to whistle. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I'm a little concerned at the moment. Uh, Alright, new game. Alakine's gun, I believe, is a, a chess term. Don't know what it means. Uh, change clothes after stunning or strangling. Um, cannot change clothes, normal reaction. I love that the ratings bonus, weapons bonus... Ooh. Is it bad that I want to do this? Ooh, this is such a challenge. How much do I want to see pe people to see me fail over and over and over again? Alright, this is taking too long. I'm just starting it on extreme and seeing what happens. And when it starts to go badly, I will quit and be playing it on easy. Ooh. Right after the assassination of President Kennedy. Or, actually, probably right before. Maybe this is the assassination of President Kennedy, come to think of it. No, it's New York. It is. Okay. Subtitles! FTW! Yikes! Ooh. You, sir, are kind of a downer. Okay, so we're starting with a cliche. About as much of a cliche as you can get, actually. But let's see where it goes. Oh, he wants to kill himself. He, he has killed himself. Wow, that's a... Huh. Daring way to start your game, I guess. Okay. And then the long, slow pan to pan and zoom into the eyes of the CIA agent continued. Wait, what? Yeah, Yalta was was not great. What? D Dr. Erskine? And there's a Rambaldi. Wow, this is... It's a lot of influences all being peppered in simultaneously, don't you think? So the sea agent whose kids got killed and shot himself... I guess we'll see what that has to do with him. Okay, um... Okay, supplies comes past a minimum check. Security in courtyard is minus several guards and single patrols. Okay. Martin Fitchter. Do 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 do. Okay. 
Toro, try the metal, massive party. SS. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Sokolov. We we all remember uh, our favorite Sokolov, but that's another conversation. Uh, Lavsan, coated with iron oxide. Okay. Clear the meters. Oh, can't let that survive. Hans Heydrich. Heindrich, sorry. Uh, okay. Guess we're going to have to deal with that. Ooh. Oh, Walther P38. Back when guns were guns, people. Uh, okay. Can't get any of these yet. But I get to bring a combat knife, chloroform, and a garrot. Okay. Uh, let's go with the uh, Tokarev, which seems to be slightly more accurate, but they're no both noisy as blank. Uh, hey, there are any of them quite? Oh, there we go. High standard. Ooh, with an integral silencer? Hopefully I can get silencers. Oh, I can bring an MP40. What? That's probably not for the best right now, though. I mean, I have no idea how to even play the game, so let's just learn how to play the game, and then we'll start machine gunning people, shall we? Oh, yeah. I do want to accompany game with tutorial. <laughs> I'm just making fun of people for not speaking English. Uh, okay, right stick to rank camera, left stick to position your character. Ooh, move your character. Uh, press and hold the X button for running mode. Press left stick for seeking mode. Okay. Uh, use key buttons that appear in the screen to perform actions in the environment. Hold the button to select the desired action from the drop down list. Oh, like in the original Hitman. Uh, compass is turning left out. Guide marks for objections. Cycle through objective description. Nice. Yep, for the record, you cannot, uh... Okay, uh, sneaking mode. Okay. You cannot change this to inverse, or change the speed at which you aim. That's quite a twist. Well, I'm in costume, so... I think I'll be fine walking around this classy black and white world. Uh, in stick modes, find level tips. Using open this mode will help you with aiming. Oh, that's gonna be good. Have we slowed down time or something? No. Ah, hey guys, I'm not gonna kill you, but it's nice to know that you're there. Oh, look, there's the instinct meter going down, and then I assume building back up eventually. Uh, hmm. Wonder why the hardest possible mode is called saboteur mode. Oh, I can use cover. Boing. Yeah, if you're wondering why the uh, the camera's free <laughs> swing so wildly up and down, it's because I'm really used to playing with inverted controls. So uh, seeing it uh, has a problem. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Hans Heydrich. Alright. Hey guys! Oh, can I save? I can totally save whenever I want. I, I don't know if that's accurate, but that would be great. Because I love saving and loading. Hey guys! Walking past here. Ooh, that didn't work at all. But luckily, the animation is terrible. So... Uh, not getting off to a fantastic start came. It looked looked very silly when that guy uh, hovered up the stairs, firing in random directions. Oof. Uh, check the guide point on the compass for directions. I will. Sneak mode. Oh. 
I was going to garrote this guy, but then... Oh. Uh, L2. Okay. I will do that. Alright, so... Oh. And by the way, the... Uh, select garrote with the right button and press L2 to raise it. Okay. Carefully stick by it and press R2 button to choke him. You can hold it to auto-choke the guy at the end. See, that's great. There's only one guy, right? Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneaking up on you. Okay, we got a couple of camera angles on that. That looked neat. Alright, got a corpse. Let's uh, ditch this corpses. Hey, big boxes or other special places to hide bodies. Perhaps the back of a truck? Hmm. Gotta say, I like the uh, stark lines of this game in black and white. The glare coming off of the... No, nope, can't put them there. Thought to let me throw them in the truck, but I was completely wrong. Uh, okay... Boom. It was circled to drop the body. Uh, can I... Ah, see? Thank you. See, I didn't need to bring to... Uh, oh, need a... Wow, that was embarrassing. I didn't need to bring an MP40 with me. There was one waiting for me on the first guy I killed. Ha ha! Now let's uh, sneak inside the castle. Is there a map? Map would be just great. There is not a map. Huh, that's controversial. And strange. I mean, there's got to be a map, right? Am I, am I pressing the wrong button? Because, spoiler alert. Oh my god, I just got seen. I got seen. What is happening? Oh, it helps uh, the other way. At least I can change shoulders, right? Not hidden. Oh, the body's not hidden. Oh, shot in the back. Okay, that was bad. Not gonna pretend it wasn't. I'm not sure why me wearing this Nazi uniform is not helping me sneak into this area better, but whatevs. I didn't save after choking this guy. That's a real kick in the pants. I gotta say, I kind of like that the game uh, <coughs> helps you with aiming when you're in focus mode. Just automatically defaults to guys' heads. It's like they knew their game had uh, lackluster aiming mechanics. Wanted to make up for it. Oh, good. The physics worked. I would like that MP4. Thank you very much. MP40. Wow. MP4. What the hell is that? And I'm sure that has been the name of a gun at some point. Something. But, uh, yeah, that's embarrassing. Alright. Ghost of the Past. Alakine's gun. Training mission. I've already died twice. I mean, I could say that was because I was on the uh, highest difficulty level. Oh, that's the guy. That explains it. Yep. The, uh... Zooming mode, really. You just have to get kind of on target. Oh, a minimap appears when you, uh... Having trouble shooting around that corner. What the hell? Oof. Yeah, game, you are... Embarrassing me a little now. Like, I do not I do not feel great about you. I want to. I want to be supportive, but that guy was just standing there and he got fucked. I don't even know. Oh, that guy should again. Yay. Um, so, my health is pretty low. I'm going to take out my pistol. See if I can kill anybody before I get murdered. One. Okay, there wasn't actually anybody there. 
Ich habe ihn verloren. Ah, I can switch shoulders. I thought I had done that earlier, but then I immediately died. So I didn't realize. Oh, hold to reload. Oh, that was embarrassing. How about we load a game? Try that again. See if we can noodle our way through this. By, I don't know, running up to that guy and stabbing him? It's not really clear what my goal should be. So there's this guy. Ooh. Oh. Alright. No guy who's playing a competent game. Alright. That went okay. In case you're wondering, uh, no, there aren't any uh, clear animations associated with uh, with murdering dudes. So let's the closer I get, the brighter it gets, and the more likely I am to hit. That's not super clear, but uh oh, that guy went down hard. Yeah, just earlier today, I was making fun of uh, how in uh, okay. uh, Far Cry Primal. There's this silly thing where when you kill an animal, they uh, instead of flumping to the ground in any kind of natural way, they immediately become a rock hard object uh, that's usually a cylinder and starts, like, sliding or rolling down a hill. And I'm like, I haven't killed a lot of saber-toothed tigers in my life, and I won't claim to have. But I still feel that they do not, uh... You know, when, when one gets stabbed to death, I would feel it kind of just falls to the ground rather than, you know, going rolling end over end. Alright, so let's see if we can go through this door, and, uh... I would like to peek through the keyhole. Ugh. Miss doors with keyholes. Although, if you believe the early uh, Hitman games, every building still has them. All right. An office with a safe, eh? Oh, the safe is just a just a texture. Okay. I allowed myself to get excited there for one second. Well, obviously, a mistake. Now, can I stab one through someone through the brain with my knife? And uh, will it let me do a silent kill with that, or can silent kills only be done with the garrot? I hope we can do a silent kill with a knife. Another thing I really enjoyed about the early Hitman game was, uh... The first Hitman game, I mean. They had a silent kill both with the garrot and with a knife. They clearly wanted you to use the garrot, obviously. But the garrot animation took forever! Whereas the knife, you just, you know... Slash the guy across the throat like that and uh, that would be that I would like the Walther uh, P38 please it's weird how much this reminds me of the early uh... oh cool bling <laughs> so here's this badass lever and a, a thing to operate it and there's just no nothing to do with the game just uh... just something there although I will say I like the fact that uh... This is clearly the guy I shot from that office when he came running down to get me. Is this game completely bloodless? Like, I wasn't expecting a, a fountain of blood when I slit that guy's throat, but I've killed, like, uh, I don't know, ten people now, and uh, I haven't seen one drop of blood anywhere. Alright. And now to just be petty. Those are some, uh... Those are some bargain basement floor tile textures people oof oof I do not I do not envy your floor tile uh, floor tile texture salesman is uh wait no I said that wrong I am quite impressed by your floor tile texture salesman because he he literally sold you something that no one else would I'm just not good at 
about, uh, you know, being a secret pretend Nazi. Yeah, I get it. You're Nazis. Well, guess what? Being a Nazi doesn't make you immune to bullets. I mean, you're a jerk. Nobody likes you. But, you know, you're not bulletproof. Oof. I mean, obviously communists aren't either. But, uh... I still think I have the moral high ground. I'm actually doing a symbol of that with my hand as if as if anyone's watching me. Spoiler alert. They aren't. Although you know. I'm sure if I wanted to I could set up some kind of a a video thing. But uh I don't. So I haven't. Alright, let's let's think this through. So we got two guys over here. But I'm not in a position where I can murder two guys with a knife. Uh this isn't a uh I'm trying to think of a famous person who did that quickly. But I'm blanking. Don't have any throwable knives. Okay. There's Castle Wolfenstein. I would like to get inside it. Ah! Maybe there's a secret entrance over here. Ooh. Come on, seriously? They saw me from that far and they were like, oh yeah, that's... That's definitely not a Nazi I know. What? These these doors or anything? Maybe I can really fast. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, does this game feature bullet holes that get made when uh, you shoot things? I don't think you'll be surprised to find that the answer is uh is no. Oof. Again, I don't want to be the bad guy. A bad guy, anyway. Oh my god, that's a health bar. I just realized that's a health bar. There's a circular health bar that comes up when you look at guys. But this is... This is very old school, people. Okay. Ooh, did you see that falling animation? Oh, that's like... The, the principle of ragdoll without any of the advanced physics work being done, so they literally just they know the body's supposed to fall, but they don't know how to, know how to make it do that with any semblance of realism. Hey, guy! Oh, this is going okay! Oh, no! A lot of bullets? I'm gonna steal one of your guys' guns. Do I have a different gun? Ah, I do. Author P38. Can I please have some ammo? Hey, uh, I wonder if it's gonna do that thing where you kill a guy, even though he didn't shoot, he had only had four bullets on him? No, 26 bullets! Okay! I thought this was gonna be one of those things, but way to go! I am holding to reload. Well, at least it has a reloading animation. That's something? <laughs> so, uh, I, I think we're all familiar with the famous stealth would-be stealth game, Alekhine's Gun. And the way I've chosen to, to play that game is to just shoot everyone by tricking them into a kind of a chokehold location. Oh, was I supposed to climb? Ah, danger scale. Uh, yes, I, I figured that part out. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, okay. Danger scale will grow. Yeah, really fast. So fast, there's really no time to do anything about it after it starts to grow. So, uh, you know, maybe warn us about that next time. But don't worry, I've got a gun and I'm more than willing to use it. I can't, uh, I honestly cannot wait for the end of mission briefing, where it tells you, uh, the style at which you play the game, and, uh, there. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I guess no one actually saw me specifically walk through the doors, so if you want to call that sneaking, sure. Uh, okay, distract enemies. You can uh, be whistling environment using. These lights just can be used for that. Okay, what is the whistling? How can I whistle? Was there a button for that? Or... Oh, okay, it's it's uh, it's right thumbstick. I'm sure I saw that earlier, but I obviously forgot. So I'm going to whistle until this guy shows up. He is not coming. And uh, then... Oh, is that guy coming? No, he's not. So, 
because uh, it doesn't show you how far the range of the whistle is. Anyway, point is, uh, where's the one is that way? Okay. Um, when I get close enough, uh, when my whistle gets close enough to distract him... Damn it, that was... Press the wrong button. Okay, that was embarrassing. Wow, that was bad. Uh, anyway, my plan was to uh, whistle and use the whistle to uh, lure him to a doorway, and then I would, like, just brutally stab him over and over and over again when he arrived at the doorway, but uh, obviously it was never to be. So let's, let's try that again with uh, less dumbness. Stop whistling. I mean, I'm, I know I'm saying that to myself. What's that over there? Oh, chloroform. Yay. I have a, a non-lethal option. You, you know I'm up against Nazis, right? And that only a crazy person would want a... Oh, crap. There's two of them. Non-lethal option to do... Are there three of... There's three of them. What is going on here? All right. We're just leaving. I don't know. Chloroform grenade. Did that, did that get his attention? I want to come and investigate that, buddy? You do! Oh my god, this is going to make me so happy. Wow, that didn't... Oh, I didn't raise my knife, by the way. I forgot you had to raise your knife. Yeah, we all saw that. I mean, I could pretend that's my intention, but... Uh, yeah, that wasn't... That wasn't anybody's intention. All right, here we go. Right, you come and investigate. I'm gonna be hiding around this corner. Then, here, buddy, 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 buddy. Yeah, it's here you wanna come. There's two of them. Why are there two of them? Remember how I thought that you could do an assassination when you uh, hit around a corner and then like swept out a swept out a knife really fast? Yeah, they don't have one of those. They do not have a a corner kill. Uh, most stealth games have corner kills. I think Hitman might have a corner kill. Uh, Batman has a corner kill. I I'm sure Tenchu has a corner kill. So people understand the value and importance of of corner kills, but uh, yeah, this one does not. First corner kill I ever saw. Good question. Nobody asked it. But uh, I'll tell you. Oh, you know who has a corner kill? Well, corner grab, but whatever. Uh, Big Boss. That's right. Big Boss, star of Metal Gear. He's got a corner kill. So, I figure a, uh, a Russian spy in the whole Nazi killing business should have a corner kill. Anyway, long story short, the game is lacking in corner kills. But, and I think here's the key part. Anybody through this door? No. Uh, first time I saw a corner kill was in the uh, the Mission Impossible game for the Xbox. Don't know if anybody else played that or anyone ever played that. Xbox or PS2. I had them both. I don't know which one it was. Uh, Might have been on both. Anyway, that was the game where you, uh, you ran around in the, the Tom Cruise sneaking suit all the time. If, if you're familiar. Wait, why am I still looking at Objective 1? I've already... Oh. They've changed what Objective 1 is. Gotcha. Uh, Alright. And he should be right around here somewhere. Hey! Hey, friend! He was a bad guy right away. He didn't hesitate to open fire. That went pretty well. I guess I will really. Anyway, uh, yeah, the Mission Impossible game, you, you did some shooting, you did some running around, and uh, in some sneaking sections, you've had this mood... Oh, there he is. Oh, I got shot in the back. Yeah. Uh, you had this mood you would do where you put your back to a wall, and a guy would be running along to the wall, and you had a, a corner takedown, or kill, where you, like, swept out and clobbered the guy as he was running up to the corner. And... I was so impressed by that, I remember thinking to myself, why doesn't every stealth game have uh, the corner kill function? 
functionality, and uh, I could not offer a good reason for why any game shouldn't. While Alakine's gun has just proven, once again, how vitally important that is. Save. That's right, I, I climbed a set of stairs, then I saved. Uh, because I think I'm going to be dying a lot. And, uh, why not give myself a little heads up on... Hey, buddy. Oh! Ugh. Tap commands. Like, my, my three most beloved things. I'm being sarcastic, of course. Uh, rapid button presses and, uh, questionable stealth systems and auto-closing doors. Just, just a, a laugh riot. Seriously, why would anyone even sneak? Whoa! Yeah, let's, let's just see how far we get, shall we? I'm going to carefully execute people with murder. And, uh... Now you might question my use of the term careful. I, I think I'm being pretty careful with my murdering. Uh... And, uh, my auto-aim means that I'm awesome at it. And, uh, you know, who can say different at this point? Kind of hard to shoot around corners there. I keep, I keep hitting the corners. The game doesn't know how to deal with them. So, uh, there's a guy I'm supposed to murder around here somewhere. You trying to sneak up behind me? Is that what you were up to, buddy? I know where that guy was. Weird. Uh, is he down there? Uh -oh. Whew. That is a lot of not hidden bodies I've got here. So, uh, yeah, my uh, my technique for infiltrating this uh, this chalet, uh, this chalet of doom, if you will. Hey, we got him! Yeehaw! That, that worked pretty well, right? Is to uh, murder everyone as. Oh, we found a key. Yoink. Uh, uh, well, that peeking through. Uh, so what is our next objective? Hans Heydrich, destroy magnetic tape. I think we can do that without too much trouble. Um, oh, hey, is there a map? There is a map! It's just hard to get to. Uh, okay, so I am here? Wow, there are three floors of prison. And gates and oh the gatehouse I was in the gatehouse yay uh, there's the basement I remember how to get there I guess the prison is below the... oh crap that's right it's a map screen that does not pause the game thanks although that might be a nod to uh, Hitman as well which famously had the map screen that didn't pause the game and you could watch dudes moving around the uh, the location while the game was in uh, map screen use that to help time your activities. Hey, guy! Sorry about this, but you know you're Nazis, right? Like, this isn't a surprise to you? <laughs> Sorry, just, uh, I love that weird situation where you're playing a game where it's a, uh, it is a really, uh, super difficult stealth game, but it is a very easy combat game. <laughs> like, uh, Gunplay intensive game? Combat game? Shooter! Shooter's the word I'm looking for. Took me too long to get there. Hey! Hey, lady. Not planning to kill you. Just don't pull a gun on me. Ooh! Damn! Don't worry about it. I gotcha. Why am I telling him not to worry? No, run! Why are you not running? Damn! Sorry, are these guys respawning? Because that, that would be... Well, I mean, I'm being pretty cheap in the way I'm playing the game, but... Responding Nazis are not cool. Uh, yes, I know. Oh, we will? So, to, like, highlight items reading here? Did those guys seriously not know how to get through a doorway? Is that what happened? This is so weird. Alright, so I'm gonna hide in a corner. Because obviously no one can see corners in this game. And, uh, oh, crap, really? Uh, let's switch to a pistol for a second. Okay, I got some bullets for the pistol, right? Damn. To use the vernacular, nice shooting, Tex. 
Uh, alright, so let's... Oh, damn it! There seriously is no end to these guys. Alright, let's see if I can do this without aim assist. I can! Okay! Uh, alright, so let's reload. Which you have to hold down the button to do rather than tapping, because tapping goes into punch mode. Which is a super useful activity to, to be able to do while, you know... Uh, in a gunfight. Is there a is there a health restoring item around here anywhere or something like that? No, no, you can't see me. What? <laughs> uh, why did I not guess there was someone hiding on the other side of that door? Uh, where else would he be? But just just kind of just kind of crouching there. So, let's be a little more careful this time. Not sure what happened there. Oh, uh, here's what happened. The guy started shooting, and because he had been shooting me, the game kept him shooting me, even though I had knocked away his gun and was stabbing him. The game recorded him shooting me while over and over again, while that animation was playing, uh, because the game is not fantastic at logic and things like that. Seriously, I can't stress this enough. Like, if you uh, if you don't disguise yourself, because remember, disguise is turned off in this mode. Uh, is this game even playable? Because it is. Uh, full of rooms that are just full of guys and I, I whistle for them to come to me but then there's no way for me to take advantage of that opportunity to stab them they always have plenty of time to to yell and uh, make a fuss alright so creep let's creep around uh, oh okay he didn't see me and that guy immediately saw me Alright, and now we've entered the gunfighting part of the game. Is that guy cowering in fear? So, my head is off to you, kind sir. You are you are more of a gentleman than any of your fellow Nazis. Okay, this is it's going okay this time. Ugh. Peek through the door. Oh, is that his office and that's what we have to get the key for? Probably, right? Sorry. Yes! Take that, Martin Fitch... Fitchner. Fitchner? Oh yeah, it is Fitchner. Not Fitcher. Uh, like, uh... William Fitchner. Popular actor. I mean, I, I would assume no relation, because... Uh, William Fitchner is just, a An American actor of the... 90s through present. Whereas, uh, this guy is a fictional Nazi, so, you know. Boing. Alright, so, uh, let's use the key. Ah, damn, it's gonna be shooting us again. You know, I just want to say, not to toot my own horn, but I haven't, uh, that's the first time I've turned on the, uh, the auto aim in that entire gunfight. And I don't seem to be getting much out of it, frankly. Alright, so, unlock the door. What is in this guy's private office? I will close the door, and I will switch off the light. Because I feel like that's going to give me a tactical advantage. Anybody around here? No? Okay. The files have got to be through here, right? Ooh, he's got a bearskin rug. Nice work, buddy. Uh, oh, permit for entering prison. Thank you. That I don't know why I needed that. But whatevs. Not gonna complain. I found a gimme. Ooh, okay. Um Okay. Oh. Hey, um, 
dear game. You know what could use a tutorial? Uh, this. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to turn this until the bottom one is lined up. Then turn back until the middle one is lined up. Then turn back until the top one is lined up. Okay, that that wasn't as hard as I made it out to be. I thought that was going to be a real chore, but it turned out that now it was fine. Yes! Destroyed the uh, magnetic safe. It's just weird, because um, after so many... Uh, sorry, not so many, but uh, after the huge disappointment that was uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and the... Uh, the in no way stealth related games Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag and Assassin's Creed whatever the hell uh, that other Templar one was called I mean I liked it Rogue jeez crackers what damn it okay peek through keyholes oh guru <laughs> peek through keyholes Use your bonus mode. Do, do something. Don't just walk in there and expect there to not be Nazis. Wow. ET Dubs, that is just a, a troubling number of corpses. What was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, after, uh, you know, there were all of these Assassin's Creed games with just nothing resembling... I don't even know what buttons do anymore. Uh, with nothing resembling stealth in them. It was such a so refreshing to play Assassin's Creed Syndicate and be like, okay, the combat is fixed, the timing is fixed, the, the you know the stuff is fixed. Like, this is the first. Uh, oh, I can't. Yeah. Uh, this is the first ever Assassin's Creed game to just have taken all of the stuff that they've always been trying to do in Assassin's Creed game and turn it into a good game, right? So, coming off that and have your next stealth game be, be this. A game with no particular facility for how stealth games are supposed to work. That's a bit of a step down is my point. Is the point I'm, I'm reaching for. So let's, uh charge on through and see if we can't find this uh, next dude. Oh, who's shooting at him? Ow. Okay, so now I've locked myself in a library. That was for you people who enjoy de deliberate mispronunciation of words. I don't think you're going to hit me from there. Conversely, I don't think I'm going to hit you. We may have reached a stalemate. Can I, uh, hey, can I even pop out of cover? I can, good. Alright. At least I can pop out of cover. Okay. Now you're gonna want to run and look for me. Oof. And then, uh, is he just gonna stay there? Let's give him a chance to make the first move. He's gonna stand there forever than me. Among a sea of Nazi corpses just waiting for me to do something. So yeah, to, to then play a game with no particular facility for stealth that, you know, is a stealth game. Hey guys. Oof. That was embarrassing. It's kind of a step down, is my point. I wonder how long ago that save was. You wouldn't think I, uh, I should have to ask. You'd think I could just check the clock, but for some reason the, the save date's there. Despite the fact that I'm online with my PS4 right now, the uh, save dates there have little to nothing to do with what time it is, so... Uh, anybody here? No, we're good? Alright. Uh, okay, so... I believe I wanted to, uh... First off, hide out here. I'm going to check the map and see if I can figure out how to get where we're going. 
probably through this door now. No, that's downstairs. Damn it. Alright, so. They can't possibly guess I'm in the kitchen, right? Like, okay, it's not a kitchen. It's a dental office. Okay, whatever. Nazi's gonna have clean teeth, too. Uh, hey, can I check my inventory? I cannot. There's no pause in this game, is there? Oh, and, uh, dear game, you have this whole, whole middle button touchpad thing. That is a, that is a perfectly acceptable way of letting people, uh, figure out how to check their inventory and map. Because holding down left trigger, left button, shoulder button, and right shoulder button, conversely, is, is not such a great system. So, second floor. Basement, prison. Okay, where is this guy? Like, you're saying he's upstairs, but I don't know if I can get any further upstairs than I was. Sorry, where am I? Sorry, am I not on this map? Oh, I am on this map. Okay, good. Um, hmm. So, I am here on this map. He is upstairs. Which you're not going to show me... Oh, there's my inventory. Uh, key to Fitchner's room. Permanent friend trying prison. Great. Uh, so, you go upstairs to floor two. All right, second floor. Then you. Like, is there a further? Because that's that's an up staircase. Like I've been up as far as up can go. All right, let's just let's just go back upstairs, I guess. This could be clearer, is my point. All right. Uh, hmm. At least I'm learning to navigate the uh, the back ways through this Nazi castle in case I later decide to try this again uh, uh, not just murdering everyone with guns here's a question for you so now that we're playing uh, this noir style do you think we're missing anything uh, color wise oh there was an escape door that way when I was having that gunfight I could have just uh... you see how it's telling me he's still upstairs right but you've noticed that according to the map, there is no upstairs? I feel like that's that's a problem. Okay, so let's open this door. Nope, no upstairs there. Okay. Uh, any upstairs this way? <laughs> now I'm just thinking about... Uh, uh, for anyone too young to have played the first... Uh, Hitman game when it was originally out, you know, before the uh, Hitman contracts gave you back all the missions using the uh, silent assassin modeling and uh, design. Ugh, lady, why are you so bad at fleeing? Right, uh, you had to do a lot of work to find your fun in that game, so there was a certain glee to be had in uh, just going from room to room and just murdering everybody in the various missions. In fact, I would say that uh, I liked the first Hitman, but I probably had the most fun just just murdering my way through those places. Okay, I was just I was literally just here. Is he in a balcony? You know, let's go down that staircase. Let's, let's go down that mystery staircase into the cellar and see what the H is happening. It would be good if I could remember that where, where that was. Did I save recently? Does it matter, though? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, oh! Oh, it's her. Damn it. Uh, okay. Well, I would love one of those tips. Do you have a, do you have a tip to offer me? Instinct mode? You don't, do you? Coward. Uh, okay. Hey, I'm outside. Okay, that was that was the answer. We had to go outside to the next building. Uh, now, you might have think you think well. Oof. You might have thought, hey, shouldn't that next building have been on the map? Uh, and yeah, I, I would agree with that. Just theoretically, but it wasn't. I really did save with zero hit points. Uh, this is about to get dicey, people. But I'm still excited about it. Uh, okay. Uh, cancel. Seriously, if 
<laughs> the familiarity of this system, like, if you had, if you were to tell me that this literally was built on, like, the old Hitman's engine licensed from IO Interactive, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense. That, that roughly feels like what I'm playing. A, an 11 year old game. Oh god, it's older than now. Is it a 14 year old game, the first Hitman? The point is, such an old game that I'm a little ashamed by the stiffness of everything about it. Alright, so, turn on the detector. You're dead. Who the hell shot me? We might have to load an older game and restart this and <clears throat> give up, is, is what we might have to do. Uh, I mean, give up, essentially, and then uh, and then switch over to easy mode and then just, just race through the game. Okay, that is a badass painting. And a super high resolution uh, depiction. It's him down here. Really, the, the current progress where I'm lying in a bloody heap on the ground having been shot to death, I'm going to lose that progress. <gasps> I wonder if it's possible to not be a jerk. I, I could try it. But where's the fun in that? Uh, the fun, as they say, would be in the not being a jerk. Hmm. Food for thought. Alright. Still no health, huh? You know, even the original Hitman had health packs to give you. I don't actually remember if that's true or not. That's more of just me trying to make a rhetorical point without any basis for it and doing a half-assed job. Okay. So, oh, that's the prison. Ooh. It's a guy in the prison. Are you the American? The one everyone keeps talking about? Keeps talking about? Remember how I just killed everybody? Didn't hear any conversations then. You're the Russian. The one no one talks about. I'm kidding. I was told the Russians were interested in Heinrich. Look, maybe we can work something out. Looks like you're the only one who needs help here. To hell with this. I have something you want. You just let me out of here. Be more specific. Documents. Heinrich was working on the serum. It's all in the folder. Formulas, reports of the tests they were Ooh. working on. Not, not to keep harping on this, but... Hurry up. Hey. In one of the earliest, on uh... Ask the Germans. You know how much they will love tobacco. Hitman missions? Oh, is Rambaldi the guy who, uh, kills himself? Anyway, um... In one of the earliest, uh, Hitman missions in the Hitman game... There's a, uh, <laughs> a whole sequence where, uh, is this a furnace? Hey, pal. Um, yeah, I don't... Okay, let me just look at the map again. Oh, is this a secret exit? Sweet! How do I open it? Uh, the tunnel is... Oh. Alright. Uh, okay. Tunnel, use it. So use this from the dungeon, use to get the extraction zone. Okay, but... Oh, yeah, there it is. No, I don't want to leave the place. I haven't killed the other guy yet, but... Anyway, um, as I was saying, about Hitman. Yeah, there's a, there's actually a, a mission right at the early part of Hitman where they want you to rescue a captured American agent. And I know it's stretching for me to draw parallels, but if I find myself, like, 
shooting my way through a, a bunch of jungle levels later, I'm going to be very suspicious, is my point. Uh, and plus, you know, a Hitman type game prequel thing set in World War II, I think would be a blast. But I enjoyed the World War II missions in uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, so... That actually doesn't prove anything. I just did like them. Alright, so I have a plan. Obviously you've noticed that my attempts to shoot just everybody has been going terribly. But that's because I've been walking out into where they're stationed. I figure... Check this out. I open the door, fire off a couple of bullets, then as they come rushing through the door, ugh, I murder the hell out of them. Thoughts? Probably shouldn't let that second door close. What I find really weird is that... Oh, Etsy! It was working! So what I find interesting is... Let me get there. Uh, I'll reload and my plan was working, just FYI. What I find odd is this game is sectioned off into discrete map areas. And... Like, the guys... My, my instinct mode... Uh, only works within the discrete map area that I'm currently standing in. So if there's a guy just like literally right on the other side of a door, my map thing won't work on him. But if I walk through that door, look, they all magically appear and disappear. That is what I call uh, questionable game design. I, I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of that. So, I'm ready whenever you are question is, can these guys, in their discrete map zone, open a door? It suddenly occurs to me that they might not actually be able to... Oh, there they are. Sorry, sorry. Guys, I misunderestimated you. Please tell me your corpses are propping this door. No! Ooh. You know, knowing that you can literally only take one bullet hit creates a lot of extra tension. And that's a guy in a tank top. Way to go. I uh, can't carry any more of that ammo. Alright, let's save. This has been going way better than I thought it was going to. So let's take a moment, reflect, and then uh, move forward towards excellence. As, as Alan Partridge might suggest. Okay. They all seem to be dead. Except for that guy, who is now dead. Okay. Uh, let's check the map. There's two more guys. And then that guy up there. His own discreet map area, like I was talking about. Oof. Whole bunch of guys around that corner. Like, like, eight guys. Oh, now they're running for me. And getting frozen at a uh, map location. I don't know what to do. Oof. I gotta say, there's, there's the kind of questionable gameplay, game design that you can enjoy, and the kind of game design that, that makes you a little sad and that guy really all of the guys I've seen so far in the game who get confused and frozen in place just makes me a little sad although maybe this uh, this particular Nazi super soldier mad scientist guy isn't as important as we can like to believe and they're guarding him is he dead? Oh, he's dead. exclusively with guards who have had like, severe head injuries. I have no idea who's shooting at me. Oh, there are guys down there shooting at me. Okay. Excuse me. I'm just gonna run back inside. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me? Excuse me. Oof. Please. Like, can we turn off the, the punches while I'm in aiming mode? That's just a disaster. Whoa. Alright, I'm not super sure how to deal with this situation, because that guy's not leaving his cover. As we learned earlier, uh, guys never leave their cover to investigate. I mean, we're going to give him a chance to, but uh, he, he probably won't. So, let's keep our fingers crossed that this guy uh, wants to find out where I am. Oh, is, he, is he running? Oh, crap, who the hell is this guy? 
Also, why didn't he just shoot me? Oh, that's why. Waka waka. But uh, seriously, folks. Oh, wow, that is a lot of guards. It is it is time to duck back into the door. Machine gun them as they run through the door. There's a... Uh, there's actually a, a ridiculous Steven Seagal movie where... I mean, it borders on parody, it's so bad. Urban Justice, maybe? Anyway, where he's so... Uh, they were so unable to choreograph and stage a gunfight that literally it is just uh, Steven Seagal standing in a room of this uh, this motel room pointing a door, a gun at the doorway and like a guy runs in and he shoots him and then the guy falls down and then another guy runs in and, and he shoots him and then the guy falls down and it's all shot with just like close ups of Steven Seagal firing an assault rifle and then guys falling down so you can tell they just they needed, uh, all they needed was Steven Seagal and sat for like 15 minutes to just shoot the assault rifle a bunch and then they, they came in and they filmed all these guys falling down separately because uh, the two of them are never on screen at the same time. And uh, yeah, the only way to describe that inept staging was that it was like a badly programmed video game where bad guys just keep running through a doorway over and over again, essentially letting themselves get killed because the AI can't figure out that 80 people have already gotten shot running through the door. You know, that uh, that they are all just bullet sponges. And that is the level of work that went into that uh, Steven Skull movie. It may or may not have been called Urban Justice. How am I not hitting that guy? Damn! Alright, so uh, we saved after we shot the next doorway crowd. So now we can just uh, infiltrate that building and hopefully murder this guy. I should probably pick up these MP40s because I am running a little low on ammo, what with all the uh, the excessive murder. All right, uh, let's get to that door. Is there anybody left to see or kill me? The answer. All right. Wow. So I guess there's no one in this discreet location because uh, nothing showing up on ye olde radar. Okay. Come on. Oh, we were doing so well, too. we have made it as many as one minute without shooting anybody. Oh, crap, there he is. I think that's him. I'm wearing a lab coat. And this being a poorly thought out and realized game, logically, the mad scientist should be wearing a uh, lab coat, right? Jesus. We got him. Oh, we had a friend. But the friend is also dead. If you think I'm going to do a Simpsons quote there, you're wrong. I don't know why that guy didn't shoot me, but I appreciated it. Do you have any notes? Key to doctor's room. So, here's the here's the big maybe. Do we investigate the duck? Oh no! Oh no, it's test subjects. Can we, can we let these guys out? I mean, is there a, anybody see a switch on the wall? Or... Hey guys, I'd, I'd like to help you out, but I don't see a switch. Uh, okay. So are the ah, here we go. Turn off generator. That should open the door, right? Oh, sorry, uh, what I meant to say was that should do nothing, right? Oh, whoops. <laughs> uh, no, no, I meant to turn that back off. And I can't turn it back off. <laughs> what is happening? Alright. So let's uh, investigate the doctor's room. Does he have any secret things I need or want or anything like that? So, for the record, uh, I probably don't want to turn that switch on. 
I might electrocute this guy. Oh, is he already dead? Nope, no, he's still breathing. So, let's save the game before doing that switch, because I do not want to feel bad about electrocuting someone. This is how, uh... You know, until this second, I didn't realize the A in the Alakine's gun has a, has a keyhole. Weird, right? Yep, he was electrocuted. Sorry about that, pal. You good? Still, still breathing. Still breathing. Nothing to worry about there. Uh, can I let him go? So, for the record, uh, if you're wondering, is this kind of game with uh, with optional objectives where you can help out people being tortured by Nazi scientists? Uh, you know, set other people free from a prison. Maybe find some uh, optional intelligence in the doctor's lab. Uh, are you wondering, is is this that kind of game? Uh, and the answer is no. This is the kind of game where you see uh, a bunch of guys locked up in a, uh, I mean, let's face it, probably Jewish concentration camp prisoners. Ooh. Locked up in a, a hellhole of a Mengele-type experimentation chamber. Oh, crap. I am glad I saved it. But anyway, uh, and your job as... Is it bad that I can't remember the main character's name? I mean, it doesn't really have a character yet. As a Russian. Your job is to say, uh, see ya, and just, just leave them there? That's not making me sound like a, a great, great guy. But who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe this picks up after this first mission. That has taken us a full hour and ten minutes to beat. Wow. It wasn't even a complicated mission. Oh, poor guy. Oh, yeah. yeah I, remember, I remember saying uh, when Hitman first came out that this was... Uh, was do, do you see that? That weird digital artifact there? Like that box of light? That's weird, right? Okay. Anyway, that... Uh, the, the ragdoll physics in it were going to change everything about how action games were made. And they did. But, uh, like, they weren't the end point. They were, they were the starting point of something interesting. That, <clears throat> in games that weren't Alakine's gun, did lead to something interesting. Interesting uh, ways for uh, enemy bodies to interact with the game world, you know, post-murder. Huh. There's a courtyard with only one door. It's weird. It's not that weird, but weird for me. Anyway point I'm getting at is, uh, so laboriously, is that, that that should not have been the stopping point of game development. You should have... You can't be satisfied with just, oh, yeah, it's it's like in uh, Hitman, where you, uh, you shoot a guy and he kind of just flops to the ground way too quickly, or or flies backwards in a super unrealistic fashion. No, you've got to keep, gotta keep working at it, is my point. Let's... The Rock style turn off the furnace and uh, climb through it. See that? We earned a trophy. Uh, we earned a trophy for being a maniac. <laughs> well, I was right. They did, um... So we were spotted 30 times. Uh, we, we, um, people were alerted 127 times. Basically every bullet we fired. Uh, killed 54 enemies. Don't know what the three close encounters are, but that's great. Killed zero innocents. Pretty psyched about that. We are not at all professional. 100% noise, 100% violence. Our rating, maniac. Oh my god, that is that is something else. Oh, hey, let's get a little more plot, shall we, before taking a break? Because, wee doggy.
That's quite a fast forward. Twenty years later. Nothing interesting happened in the meantime. Oh god, it was Bergen? So, yeah, those were definitely, uh... Concentration camp victims. Could have lived them out. Absolutely didn't. I've already forgotten this guy's name. I certainly don't trust that lady. Oh, okay, so it's going to be a flashback structure. A nesting dolls of flashbacks. I install the transmitter. Let's do a conversation. To the documents, let me spy. Okay. Palom knows your room. He's not going to turn Millie's team. His party has booked several of them. Investigate and install the transmitter in the correct room. Alarm should not be called, and Paolo must be harmed. Oh, okay. I think we can do that. So he's 55 years old. 56, more 56. Uh, Drew, married, has three daughters. Fascist party. Okay. I think we can do that. Uh, do we have a silenced pistol? We do not. Uh, love to buy it. I'm saving my money for this bad boy because it is super quiet and will let me uh, comfortably murder people without alerting the uh, authorities. So we're going to hold off on that. But, uh, ooh, poison. Agonizing and fast. Oh my god. Why would you say that? Hey, what happened to all the rifle options? Oh, I get it. It's just for the... Um, uh, the rifle options are just for uh, a mission that could be more combat intensive. This is supposed to be a stealthy mission. Which it looks like I'm starting, but I'm, I really am taking that break. I just... You know, I didn't know if I could stop on the item select screen. So I didn't look that closely. There might have been an exit on the preview. Anyway, point is... Let's, uh, let's take a break. In case you've been wondering, I have been uh, the Hoguru, a hidden object guru, uh, doing my best to uh, figure out how to play a Lekin's gun, which uh, I should really find out what that, uh, what that chess term is. So it doesn't sound so silly every time I say it. All right, uh, so if, if you've enjoyed noir gaming through the first agonizing chapter of uh, Alakine's Gun with me. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I will see you back here for more Alakine's Gun. <laughs> Oi.